Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Well, check out this metal pygmy in Portland. Video, wild video shows Portland anti-Israeli agitator charge at police get back to the ground. The police operation to end occupation of Portland State University Library is underway. Now, we're going to check out the video here when these people decide to charge the police. They think this is like cosplay. This is like a joke. They're using a half of a plastic garbage can as a shield in a construction hard hat for protection. And they literally run and try to run over police with a half a plastic garbage can as a shield. Check, up, check out these morons. Yeah. Are you stupid or something? Well, 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 can you believe that stupidity? He has a plastic garbage can. And he's trying to mow down a police officer, several of them. These people have no sense of reality. They are nuts. You want to protest legally? Protest. First Amendment gives you that right. You want to say really stupid and outrageous things? That's your right as well. But they think somehow that they're going to disperse the police with a plastic garbage can as a shield? A dramatic video. It's not dramatic. It's freaking comical. I love how they put that in there. Has captured an anti-Israeli protester at Portland State University. Portland, what a shocker. By the way, last night, 15 police cars were torched right down, just burned up, and they said, alleged arson. Gee, I wonder who it was. I think maybe it was, uh, well, let's see, it was the Moose Club or the Elks, or maybe it was some Boy Scouts. Well, you can't say Boy Scouts anymore. You just have to say Scouts. Yeah, it must have been one of them. How about the local prayer group at the church? <laughs> of course it was Antifa and them. Oh, gosh. It was getting knocked to the ground Thursday after charging directly at a police officer who was on the scene to break up the occupation of the campus's main library. The Portland Police Bureau said its effort to clear the Miller Library in downtown Portland, Oregon, is now underway following the unlawful occupation of the building that began Monday. I want to ask these mental pygmies, because I can't use the word they won't allow it. It starts with R here on this website. What do you hope to accomplish? Besides feeding your narcissistic ego and your look at me and your cosplay, thinking that somehow you're what, Gandhi? You're Martin Luther King? I, 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 I'm missing the point here. Who is this helping besides yourself in your own empty life? It's, you know, the Portland Police Bureau says, its effort to clear the library in downtown Portland is underway following a lawful occupation that began on Monday. Images that emerged yesterday showed that the inside of the building had been trashed by protesters. No. With pro-Palestinian graffiti written on the walls. Let me ask you a question. For those people that say J6 was an insurrection, did you see the rotunda with all these irreplaceable statues and paintings? Was any of them graffitied over? You see any graffiti on the walls, any mass destruction, yes, windows and doors were broken and some some small stuff on the side, but nothing really important that's irreplaceable. Hmm, makes you wonder. Footage captured on KPTV on Thursday began with a crowd cheering as the protesters, some of whom were carrying makeshift shields made out of trash cans, came streaming out of the library. Stop, you're under arrest, a voice could be heard saying before one of the protesters is seen charging directly at police and getting knocked to the ground, as you saw in the video. Other officers then helping the individual into custody. Look at these morons. One spray painted with pink on it. What the hell does that mean? Oh, they got their gas mask on. They got their, one guy's got a bicycle helmet on. 
with a cutout piece of plastic garbage can as protection and is going to storm the police. You saw the video. Look at these morons in the background. They're freedom fighters. They're saving democracy. Yeah, okay. It, it, it's so... You know, you think it was a bad movie or a, uh, or a comedy skit. Monty Python, maybe even. Let's read on. The Portland News Bureau told Fox Digital that it made several arrests so far on Thursday. Luckily, there isn't. Maybe there's not an ordinance in Portland. I used to be a city council. Maybe they should pass one for being stupid. The Portland Peace Bureau is actively collaborating with state university to address the illegal activities of the university's Miller Library. Yeah, Portland State University is collaborating with the police. This university and their administration hates police's guts, wants them disbanded. But when one of their buildings gets taken over and gets trashed and graffiti and just destroys the interior, all of a sudden now they need police. Isn't, isn't that interesting? After a group of protesters departed from a peaceful First Amendment gathering and on Lawfully enter the campus building on Monday. Like I said, you want to protest peacefully? Go for it. The PPB had been working in partnership with city leaders and other municipal bureaus, the Multop County District Attorney's Office in Portland State University to ensure a safe resolution. Oh, God. The district attorney said earlier this week that he expects felony charges to be filed against the protesters including burglary and felony criminal mischief, among other possible misdemeanors. You want to bet all the charges are dropped? Not one of them goes to jail or makes monetary restitution. Yeah, they have to do, what, 200, 300 hours of community service? Uh, you know, painting Antifa signs? It's ridiculous to me. Absolutely ridiculous. It's incredible. It truly is. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to show these morons again. Cut out plastic garbage cans as shields, a bicycle helmet, and a paper mask is going to protect you from hitting and pushing over and barreling through police. They're fully armed. Oh, you got to be out of your mind. Look at these morons in the background. They're hooting hollers that are coming down the stairs. We're going to rush them. We're going to liberate this library. My God, my God, where do these morons come from? And what was their childhood like? And who indoctrinated these idiots? And for you French speakers out there, idiot. It's amazing to me. Was that one of a gas mask on? <laughs> Painted there is pink. I think that's the girl. Oh, but I can't misgender anybody, so I better not say that, right? This is ridiculous. Probably hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage to the library. And guess who was on the hook for it? You guessed it. The Portland taxpayers and the Oregon taxpayers. Now, if they're lucky, maybe Joe Biden will throw them a million dollar grant so they can fix the library. That way, no local people will pay just a nation as a whole. Want to make a bet how many actually go to jail for longer than 30 days? Your guess is as good as mine. Until the next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck.